the favorite uh, part of this uh, camp was music played by you last oh, night. Oh, Jay, oh, what? Nice. Do you guys know this song? You're getting it. No, 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 keep going. I know. Okay, well, it's only 98 degrees now. A little cooler. <laughs> but it's still hard to talk. And uh, I'm in shape. <laughs> it's hard to talk at, uh, when it's freaking near 100 degrees. It was really hard to talk when it's about 100 degrees. Oh, and hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of One Take Sunday. One chance to do the voiceover. So let's do this. I am so looking. It was, I was looking forward to this trip. And on this trip, we will be going to the Upper Blue Lake, deep in the Sierras up by Markieville. Isolated dirt roads to get to the campsite. It is a sight to be seen for sure. And on top of staying at Blue Lakes, on this trip, we do Monitor Pass. We do the deserts of Nevada. We do Virginia City, Carson City, Lake Tahoe, and Ebbets Pass all on this trip. And ooh, let's get it started here. So just a few things heading up to Lodi. Uh, I went up a day early to Lodi. Uh, you know, I like to usually go up a day before. So, you know, I make sure everything that's packed and I have everything and, you know, extend the adventure for a little bit. And on the way up, I get behind a freaking porta potty. You know, and it smelled so bad. It was disgusting, and the dude wouldn't let me pass. So I hung my horn here. I'm like, I just pass him because it's just freaking gross, and he's holding, you know, just no concern whatsoever that we're on a single layer. I thought road. I was going to die. I'm going through Brentwood. It's 105 degrees. I see no shade in sight. It is like a freaking hot air dryer blowing on you. And I thought I was going to die. It was so bad. 105 degrees here. So I pull over to get a drink, and I'm barely an hour into the trip. It's so hot. So I pull over, I get a drink here, and we head off uh, for the bridge. And it's kind of weird. Like, look at this. You just go, you kind of go straight up on a single lane, one road bridge. And don't get me wrong. I'm welcoming this. I mean, we finally got some cool air going on. We're now, you know, like 89, 90-ish, which is a lot better than the 15 degrees hotter than it was earlier. And it's a beautiful view from, from the top of this bridge. You know, it's just, you know, I get a little anxiety going up a really steep bridge with one lane and nowhere to go, but then you get to the top and it's like, oh man, how beautiful is this? So it's you know, it's beautiful. And I just, I hug the river the whole way up to Lodi to beat the heat with what I can. And, you know, it's a nice, nice day up there. And so I, on the way to where I was staying, I, I pulled over and get some gas. I got this gas canister because I ran out of gas on my Pacific Coast Highway trip, which I shall be putting up soon. And that's a story in itself, running out of gas near Santa Barbara. So I pull into the Marriott and listen, it's really easy to find Marriott points out there. Like, I've been getting free rooms and, you know, I haven't paid full price for a room yet. It's just really easy to find points. Anyway, talk to those guys. I do this cool time-lapse thing thing. I'm like ignoring Sterling, you know, I'm going to cinematic and show the time passing. But I leave it in time-lapse mode. And then guess what? On the next day here, I forget to take it out of time-lapse mode. So now... <laughs> The whole day of trip one, and I almost didn't even release this video because of uh, the screw up. All day one is in time lapse, mode, but we're going to work with it, people. We're going to make this video work because this is a great trip with some great guys. So we're going to do this. Now, for this day two intro, I only had my scenic camera 
which is, you know, it works okay when you had, get multiple angles, but you're, oh, it's just, here's you know, two, kind of an, the one almost a year with these guys, and I love being in this group so much. But my first motorcycle camping trip with them, I stayed at Lodi, two to meet them at the same restaurant. Whoa, 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 and check this out. This is footage from a year ago on my old YouTube channel. I'm sure you can find it if you look hard enough. When, you know, I look at this head camera thing, it wasn't that bad. It's actually pretty good quality compared to this other one that costs like five times more than it. Whatever. This is me going up a year ago, meeting the motorcycle camping group. How exciting, but let's get back to this trip. When we camped at uh, Big Trees up by Arnold, and today, uh, we're going to um, Virginia City. Going to camp around 8,000 feet where you get some dirt under the tires. We're going to do uh, two nights, three days. This is going to be fun. All right. Let's do this. So we get to Rich's plate, pull in, and everybody starts to show up. It's like total excitement. I'm so happy to see everybody. So we go inside here and we get some breakfast. And these are the guys. And first up to the left, we have... AK. All right. My name is AK. Uh... AK and AK here. Oh, man, such a great guy to ride with. You know, I really admire the way AK rides. He rides at his own speed, his own pace, and he does his own trip with us. I really res liked AK and respect the way that he, he rides. And uh, I like that he also said that one of his favorite parts was uh, the music. <laughs> and next up, we have... Okay, our, our group leader, the team lead, the guy that put this all together. Yeah, my favorite part was when... <laughs> I forgot to say, say your name there Richard but here's Richard our group leader he puts these rides together and I've just had such a blast uh riding with these guys and I mean Richard's just a phenomenal rider and look at these this is him passing a, a, on a, the monitor pass just gorgeous up here and next up we have hidden here okay okay I'm Bob and in all the favorite parts of trips that already picked out the... <laughs> we have Bob and, uh, oh, man, I really enjoy riding with Dr. Bob. He's such a cool guy. You know, we haven't hung out outside of the trips, but I really consider him a friend. And, uh, you know, we every trip I've been on, he's been on. And I look to see if he's going on a trip. And if he is, it gives me that little extra nudge to make sure I go. Really enjoy riding with him and I always look forward to, to riding with him on trips. Next up, look at the smiling guy. Dr. We have... All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Ching and I get a beer. Yeah. All right, my name's Sam Casita. This is the first time riding the groups. We have Sam, and man, I really enjoy it. Can you feel his energy? He's such a good guy, happy guy. Uh, I look forward to riding with him again. Check him out on his Harley here, man. I really admire the way he rode this Harley on the the dirt and uh, the corners. I can't believe he could keep up with us on the corners. It was just amazing. And we're going to see more of Sam. He has some stuff in this trip going on, and uh, great riding with him. We'll get to that. Next up, we have... All right, my name is Joey. I love uh, camping in Blue Lakes. We have Joey. And oh man, I, I love Joey. I'm so glad I met him. And you know, we rode uh, together. We did uh, the Pacific Coast Highway. So we got to release that. And I'll get to that. And we are the two member band that has no name yet, but I love playing music with them. And we have fun doing that. And man, he can ride. He can just ride such a great, I try to keep up with him. But it's hard. <laughs> but I really enjoy riding with Joey a lot and uh, just a really good friend. Also, a big congratulations to him. He just got married a couple of weeks ago. People, isn't that great? And uh, Joey, congratulations. And man, I look forward to riding with you soon, I hope. <laughs> so we finish our delicious breakfast. And after breakfast, we go to Lockford Meats and we get some of the best sausages ever to fix at the campfire. It's just incredible. We leave breakfast and, you know, we just have fun on our way up. And we just kind of change positions here and there. And, oh, we stop at this lake right there. What a great spot to stop. And uh, check this out. We get on this dirt road right here. This is the dirt road to the lake. 
and we kind of sh- we kind of sh- stop short here and Sam goes over on his bike and that black truck there was the one that let me know Sam went over I didn't even know he went over so we all run to help him pick up his bike really quick and you know this is just part of adventures bikes fall over uh it's just part of the nature and we get on this dirt road and oh I'm just in heaven right now because this is what I've wanted to do with my bike and here's a drone shot of the lake oh god oh I want to get back up there right now it's just so gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous and we go in and then we come in and we set up camp here by the beautiful lake and it was also at this moment I realized that I left my camera in time lapse mode the whole day oh uh, anyhow so we get on this beautiful hike, and as we leave the camp to go on this, uh, it's about three miles, I forget what it said there, about three miles or so, we go up this dirt road. We were supposed to motorcycle up this dirt road the next day to leave camp, but we didn't, because we were glad we scouted out. It was too rocky, and as we're hiking up, Joey mentions that he wished he could see one of the uh, Pacific Trail hikers up there. But anyway, we get to the top of this mountain-type thing, and look at these views, people. Oh, just so gorgeous. Yeah. I'm trying, Bob, but unfortunately, the whole ride here, my camera was in time lapse mode instead of regular photography. And uh, I'll document the rest. <laughs> this is gorgeous up here. This is one of my favorite shots here. And I'm just, I'm embracing the gray hair, people. I'm in my upper 40s. I'm just, I'm going with it right now. Look at that view. Oh, I want to get back there so bad. <laughs> and here, uh, I'm going to show this again really quick. Look at people, you see people on their phones up here. This was the only spot we got service. There's no service basically up here except for this peak. And when we got here, we unfortunately saw this text. Cindy, uh, who I'd never met or rode with yet, she was going to meet us up at the campsite. She was riding up with somebody else. She had some other things to do that day. And unfortunately, on her way up, she got hit. And, uh, you know, here we didn't have much information. Um, so we were really concerned. We were sending thoughts and prayers out to her at, at the peak up there. And unfortunately, you know, she had to get surgery. She let us know that the surgeries went well. She had to get pins in her leg. Um, and she's doing well now, but just awful. And, and we're really sorry about that. And more thoughts and prayers go out to her uh, just for a full recovery, uh, and even then some. And I, I look forward to riding with Cindy in the near future, I, I do hope. So while well, the mood was a little somber, we got down and we met a Pacific Coast Trail hiker like Joey wanted. It's like he willed that into existence, and a really cool guy. Hiking up from Mexico to Canada, pretty crazy, but we're finishing our three-mile hike coming down the mountain here. And it was a great trip up there. And uh, I struggled a little bit with my blood sugars up there, but hey, I survived. It's all good. We have challenges. And got back to camp and ate these killer sausages. Oh my god, they were amazing. And then the night began. Cowboy. Come on, guys. On a steel horse I ride. And I'm wanted. Dead or alive. And I'm wanted. Wanted. Dead or alive. <laughs> So after we played some music, Joey and I went down to the lake. And look at the iPhone did a pretty good job of capturing photos here of the stars, right? Look at this. I mean, the iPhone took such good photos. I mean, look at, you can tell, like, all these constellations here. It's pretty amazing. Like, you guys know this one? Do you recognize that one? A little difficult. That's Ursula Major. And then how about this one? This one uh, from grade school. Everybody knows this one. You guys know this one, guys? You'll get it. You'll get it. Don't worry. It's from grade school. Everybody knows this one. Does it look familiar yet? Does it look familiar yet? You don't got it yet? Wait, you'll get it. Here it comes. Okay, how about now? Does it make sense now? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, how about that? Still new? Okay, wait. How about that? <laughs> God, I crack myself up. Oh my, we're going to grow up. I don't know any constellations. I know like the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper. It'd sure be fun to learn. Anyways, you can use the iPhone to do it, right? <laughs> so we all went to sleep and uh, let's get to the next morning. <laughs> Mm 
no sound effects there, people. That was just the, the mic turned up. Pretty cool, right? And uh, what a gorgeous morning. What a way to wake up. I Actually, I didn't sleep a wink, so I got up before everybody else, and I went to go shoot that video down by the, the lake there. And, you know, even though I didn't sleep, listening to this babbling brook all night was just amazing. I didn't even stress out about it because I was just listening to this all night long. Just such a great campsite, to say the least. And I hung out with this little dude for a while. Had fun hanging out with him, right? Isn't that awesome? Hey there. Woo so, to yesterday was kind of a fumble. I left my camera in time-lapse mood. So I didn't get all this beautiful dirt that we're going on right now from our campsite. But I'm getting it right now. How beautiful is this? Doing some off-road motorcycle adventures. We're headed to uh, Virginia City right now. Should be pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, today's an exciting day. This is going to be a great, great group ride, to say the least. I'm really looking forward to it. We're uh, going to Virginia City right now. Well, actually, I guess we're going to Markieville, Marketville, something like that. I'll fill it in later. Maybe put it up here or there or everywhere. But, um... How gorgeous is this? How gorgeous is this? Look at this lake. Got the dirt roads. We got everything. Hello. Got a hiker. We're looking good. Here they are. This is a good shot. Richard, AK, Sammy on the Harley, Bob in front of me, Joey behind me. Great group. Now what? 
walk these streets Loaded six string on my back And I play for keeps Because I might not make it back Been everywhere Oh, and I'm standing tall <laughs> Joe is trying to sit up Because he rocks them all <laughs> A cowboy too bad was it well, hey we're gonna go to fort churchill state park now and this is where we get some off-roading in that's right people we're gonna hit the dirt so richard me and bob take a left up here joey and sammy to use an alternate route around the dirt and i am excited this is when i got this motorcycle for was this and we hop on and I see, oh, hey, the road's not too bad. You know, I'm thinking, hey, maybe I'll be able to keep up with Richard a little bit. It's not looking as bad as the fire roads that I took up in Arnold, uh, which I will release that video hopefully soon. And then I get to this section here. This is like some really loose sand stuff here, right? So I'm trying to keep, you know, my steering good. Oh, and there it is. That's that blip. Now, that may not look like much from that angle, people. But take a look here. We got some stuff going on. Okay, now watch my steering wheel and my leg. So my steering wheel gets loose into the dirt and I start to tip over. I put my foot down so I don't tip over. Well, my leg was in kind of a bad position there. As you see when I go to put my foot down here, there's just this fraction of a second, not even a second, just a fraction of the second that happens here as I put my foot down. And as I plant my leg, can't really sit, but I get it between my the peg and the back of my leg, and it scoots out with 500, 600 pounds of weight against the back of my leg. I thought I broke my leg here. You know, I had so much adrenaline going, and when you have adrenaline going, uh, you know, like in martial arts, when you're sparring, you, you have that adrenaline going, you don't even realize you, you got hurt. And I've seen, you know, really serious injuries happen where you just don't even realize it's happening because of all the adrenaline. I thought that's what was going on here, to be honest with you. But I was fine. Thank God. Uh, what, uh, my confidence was a little shaken at this point. I, uh, I no longer was going to try to keep up with Richard. I was very, very thankful that uh, Bob was riding sweet behind me to kind of have somebody to ride with back there. So just kind of just go slower. Just went a little bit slower and just, uh, you know, as I'm winding off here, I can feel that my leg is probably okay. And uh, now I'm just enjoying the nature and the beauty here. Just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I hope I wasn't slowing Bob down here too much, but to the right of the screen there, uh, there was actually a river uh, that we were running with as we go out our way to Virginia City from here. And it was just nice, you know, it was just really nice seeing the dirt roads get some beauty. I was a little upset Richard didn't stop and let me get a drone shot. But Richard pulls over so much, let me get drone shots. I can't blame him for that. I'm getting sick of it. But I, I would like to go back here and get some drone shots of the bikes and the canyons and the river. Because uh, there's really beautiful stuff up here. Really, really gorgeous. So we end the dirt, get back on the pavement. We meet up with Joey and Sammy. And we start to head up into Virginia City. 
Virginia City, definitely. Look at this little town, man. Uh, just a gorgeous. You could just feel the history, the history of this mining town. It's a silver mining town, and um, just really cool. And the highlight, one of the highlights of the trip was Virginia City here. As you can see, I got there's still dust on my lemonstone and all that dirt that we were going through, but no matter. So we uh, chilled out in Virginia City for a bit. Cheers. Virginia City, A.K. Sammy, Bob and Richard, Joey. Boy, that was some riding. All right, so we got we got dirt. We got dirt. We got the crew. The bike on dirt. We got A.K. eating ice cream. Here's the. <laughs> so we just chill in Virginia City. I take my boots off, let my feet breathe, uh, hang out with Joey here, watching, you know, people go by, having a good time, which is really sweet. And then we run into this guy right here. And check this out. What I say here? Motorcycle accident? Seriously? Really? He got to a really bad motorcycle accident. And this was like last October, this was like eight months ago, and uh, he was still, you know, healing from it, so that was a bummer to heal, to hear. But, oh man, uh, so we chill out, give Bob some money for a shirt he got me. Thank you, Bob, for picking that up. I love that shirt, it's really awesome. Speaking of awesome. Thank God. All right. Yeah, I needed to get rid of them. They're, they're weighing me down, you know? Just going to the restaurant up there. <laughs> okay, action, AK. All right. My name is AK. Uh, the favorite uh, part of this uh, camp was music played by you last night. Oh, oh Joey! Yeah, what? Serious. Okay. Yeah, seriously, so that was the best part. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> so far, so far, favorite part so far. Yeah, it's a good you can tell us what it was right, if you want uh, to. Cut that <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Branching a knife and a beer. Uh, yeah, start. Go ahead. Uh, okay, we're ready. I'm ready. I was going to ask if your favorite part was getting pulled over. Yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put that in too. <laughs> okay. okay, go ahead. All right, my name's Sam Casita. This is the first time riding the groups. Awesome people. Uh, enjoy every moment of it. The camp was awesome. The very part would be to scatter the campfire, you know, oh, yeah. music, scattering, just get to know one. That's very fun. And yeah. top it off, I got pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> but you got pulled over, but did you get a ticket? My name is Joey. I love uh, camping in Blue Lakes. My favorite part was, got two favorite parts, jumping in the lake mm -hmm. and uh, 
hiking up and yeah, hike was hiker. amazing. Yeah, yeah, and the through hiker. Boy. And you, 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 you willed the through hiker. I, I did. I was like, I want to meet the through hiker. And what did we do? We, we saw him. Yep. And we, you should have set up pot of gold. But yeah, the, exactly. You, you <laughs> Bob, I mean, all the favorite parts of trips are already picked out. The, 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 the serenade you gave, you guys gave us last night, and. Uh, Jumping in the in the lake, all that was cool. It seemed like you're just so beautiful. <laughs> uh, but I guess uh, just uh, my favorite part was when uh, uh, he was trying to point out some tight some. Uh, uh, road snakes on the road, and I thought he <laughs> and he turned, he took the leash off, and I could took off on my own. <laughs> Virginia City. Uh, okay, our, our group leader, the team lead, the guy that put this all together. Yeah, my favorite part was when when Sammy agreed to ride in front of us and flush out all the cops for us. <laughs> we didn't. And even though he got pulled over, he talked his way out of a ticket. He did. It. So, yeah, he did. He did. We, no, but Richard Richard did a great job of putting this trip. Thank you, Richard. This, this has been a great trip. This has been really just really awesome. So we left Cutthroat Brewing Company. And I'm gonna bomb back. <laughs> oh, Joey and I here just took off, and it was pretty amazing. And I could barely keep up with Joey, so I was bombing back. But he was really bombing back. There's a like hundred miles or so there, and we get up to. Um, oh, look at this! It's such a beautiful sunset after dinner. Shadows. Everything's. Ex it's just great and we come up to this peak up here and this peak has a very special um, meaning for Joey that story is not my story to tell but know that this is a significant spot and uh, we're having fun here that was great we get back to camp oh and this is our last time coming back into camp uh, just gorgeous as the, as the sun is setting through the lake and everything absolutely gorgeous and when we get back into camp here, uh, you know, we're all really tired. It was quite a really great day riding into Virginia City. But me, Joey, and Bob, we decided we're going to go head down to the lake and take a dip. Yeah, it was gorgeous. It was cold, but you warm up to it rather quickly. Some of us had our clothes off, skinny dipping. Guess who that was? Yep, it was me. <laughs> And uh, I packed it in early that night because I didn't sleep well. But that was the end of a great day. It was probably the best day of the tree trip, I'd say. Here we are next morning, waking up early, looking at this beautiful campfire. And uh, we start to pack up. And while we're packing up, I say, Hey, Richard, it's all right if we pull ahead and get some drone shots. And because uh, <laughs> I hate asking Richard to pull over because he does it for me all the time. You know, it, it takes some time here and there. But we did. And that's where those beautiful drone shots came from earlier at the beginning, introducing each person. But here's my drone shot. And this is us leaving the lake, the Blue Lakes. And um, oh, just such little sad here. Oh, and I, I come up upon this really beautiful deer. And I, I try not to spook it. I, I try to just go really slow here. And I'm just observing it. And thinking to myself how beautiful this lake is and how what just what a great trip this has been so far. But the trip is not over yet, people. Oh, I kind of wish I could say that was like the end, uh, you know, oh, everything was great. Well, ran into a little problems here and there and we'll get to that. But for this part of the trip, we are leaving Blue Lake Basin at the Upper Blue Lake, which just was phenomenal. There, I, I will definitely be going back there sometime. And here, uh, you know, you might be able to tell on my face, you know, as I was coming out, I look a little stressed. And here I am shoving glucose gel into my face. Um, you know, I'm torn at times whether to include diabetic stuff in these adventure blogs because I don't want it to be about diabetes, but um, I am a diabetic, type 1 diabetic. And, uh, oh man, I had some trouble with, like, that hike the first night. I was struggling with that. And uh, the night of Virginia City when we got back and I needed to sleep. Um, 
my constant glucose monitor, the, it's like a little oh, patch yeah. that sits on my skin, on my leg, it tore out. And uh, so I had to put a new one in and the first 24 hours of these sensors are a little bonky. So here I am pulling over and I'm testing here the old fashioned way. And you know, it, it turns out I'm fine. Um, but you know, with it telling me that I'm having really low blood sugar, which is an emergency situation, it was just stressing me out. And as you can tell on my face here, I get a lot of relief. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay, everything's okay. And I really want to thank Joey for pulling over. Uh, you know, I can get into these situations by myself, and I do all the time. And I'd be fine, but it's just really kind of him to, to pull over. You know, it's just nice to, to have a buddy uh, with you in those types of situations. So thanks, Joey. I really appreciate that. And uh, his, he has a family member with it's type fine, 1 diabetes too, so it, it just helped out a lot. But like I said, you know, none of these were really emergency situations. They're just something that, you know, I have to deal with. Just like you have to deal with whatever you have to deal with, but we just deal with it, right? Right. All right. Now, let's get on with the trip. So we pull into this gas station, and guess what? It's a major gas stop for all of us, and there is no gas. That's right. They're charging almost eight bucks a gallon or whatever, and we can't get any. So I have a wonky blood glucose sensor that I rely on so I don't have to freaking prick my fingers and pull over and stuff. We're out of gas, so we have the potential of running out of gas over Ebbets Pass. But we get into this shop and we get some breakfast. And it was pretty good. And look at these funny seats that the horses and jeans and stuff like that. And the poor lady was so slammed here. But it was a great, great breakfast. And we hit the road. And we're going to do Ebbets Pass. And I've done this before. I, you know, my, my parents have a place up in uh, Arnold, which is close to here. So I come around these corners. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? I, I, like, I'm coming around these corners. I'm like, what's going on? Is my, is my top end too heavy? Why does it feel like I'm losing my balance here? It feels like uh, I'm going to skid off the road. Like, you know, I'm losing traction underneath the road. So, you know, I pull up to Dr. Bob is here. That, is that tire look flat? Is that flat? And there it is. Hey. Flat tire, and my tire pressure monitor didn't let me know it was a flat tire. And, oh, I'm so lucky that I was riding with Richard, Joey, and Bob here. Oh my gosh. Uh, AK and Sammy are behind us, trailing up the back. And yeah, we let Richard do it. Oh, whew. Okay. Oh, and you can hear the tire. Hear the tire? Oh, so I tread lightly here and we pull over into the side area. I'm gonna need to take a look at this. I don't know what this even is over there. I couldn't get a good look at that sign to the left. But we pull over in here to fix the flat tire. Oh, you know what? This is, we should have filmed the whole thing. <laughs> oh, God, that was stupid. I'm doing video right now. Richard, thank you. I want to thank you. Richard's the man. Did this no problem. I was like, what the heck is going on? Thank God I'm riding with these great group of guys. How many riders does it take to pass the tire? Yeah. <laughs> Well, the group effort, you got the water, it's tools, your thing, your bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just so thankful. That's with these guys, because I've never patched a motorcycle tire. Yes, it's just like patching a car tire. Didn't really know that, even though it should be obvious. Yeah, so I get back out on the road here, and so, you know, my confidence is a little shaken because my tire was so squirrely there. But, uh, you know, we're getting back uh, on the road. And what better place to be? You know, I could be behind a desk right now, but uh, I'm lucky enough to be on a motorcycle, and I, I know that. So we just keep on trucking, and it's beautiful back here. And we pull up to this meat spot. Now, we have met here before. Check this out. This is from a year ago. Oh, and check that out. This is the old video helmet cam. I was look at how low the water is in the lake here. It's really low. Uh, we were in a drought. But yeah, this is, uh, that's Tom there. And uh, Tom hasn't been riding on the trips lately. Uh, and Dr. Bob, this was about a year ago on our Big Trees tramp, camping trip. And uh, this is really Dr. cool. Dr. Bob. And uh, I, I get, this is my old video. And you can find this old video if you look, guys. Uh, but it was, I look how much I've grown over this past year as a motorcyclist and as a person. And uh, I'm just so grateful for it.
it was just such such a great group of people so back to present time look at the water's actually up a bit we are still you know technically in a drought i do believe but uh, the water looks a lot better here than it did a, a year ago but look at that water oh just it's crystal clear with it reflecting that blue sky oh it is absolutely gorgeous and speaking of gorgeous this is mosquito lake this is one of my favorite spots on ebbets pass and just one of my favorite spots of all time look at this it looks like it's something out of a fairy tale or like a john steinbeck novel or something it's just oh just absolutely gorgeous and i always i've stopped here i've gone here yeah, you can check out my other videos i've been up to this lake before i go up there it's beautiful and i always wish i could stop there with the group but me and Joey in here, we, we're looking at the lake, you know, we're, we're seeing, looking at its beauty. And uh, we keep on going, like I'm just looking at how gorgeous the lake is right here, right? It's just absolutely gorgeous. And you know how I, wish I, how I said, oh, I wish we could stop there? Well, <laughs> look at us. Um, and Joey too, we're both looking to the left at the beautiful lake. Richard's tucked away over here and to the right, right? You can barely see him. <laughs> As we're going by, oh, and I wish I would have stopped because it sure would have been nice to stop there. It's such a great place, and you can tell Joy didn't see me either. So me and Joy go up the road, and we're like, where are these guys? So we pull over. We get gas. Luckily, nobody ran out of gas. Remember, we missed that major gas stop. Getting some gas. Richard tells me we're going to check the tire. We check the tire. It turns out it is leaking still. We think, like, maybe the plug hasn't sealed fully. So we put, uh, we put some more air in it here. And we passed Dorrington here, and I always feel bad when I'm at the motorcycle camping group. We seem to go in these parts a lot. My Uncle Kevin lives up here, and I love Uncle Kevin. Uh, he used to ride Harleys, and you know, we used to film ourselves fishing at the lakes and streams and stuff. And uh, I always feel bad that I couldn't stop by, but you know, being with the group is hard to do. But I do love my Uncle Kevin very much. And uh, my parents have a place over here that, uh, you know, Yushi's empty uh, during the week especially. And uh, oh, I almost pulled over here to do it, but I couldn't because my sister Kelly was there and she had COVID. Luckily, she's better and everything. But uh, oh my gosh, I was so tired. I wanted to do it, but the option really wasn't there anyhow uh, with my sister having COVID. And without getting too specific, in this general vicinity is where my Aunt Jane and Uncle Don live. And oh, they have such a beautiful piece of property overlooking the valley out there to the right. Just gorgeous, but you know, time is of essence here too, so we keep on trucking into Murphy's. And I wish I could have seen Aunt Jane, Uncle Don, and Uncle Kevin. I, there's, I love my family. They're awesome. We pull into Murphy's here. And uh, check this out. It's so hot. It's about 95-ish degrees right now. And uh, I didn't notice this until I was reviewing the video, but check out this mist right here. Isn't that neat? Oh, and it felt good, and you can see the mist coming through. <laughs> oh, and we're trying to pull up over here to the right to get some lunch, but I couldn't fit here, so I pull up over here. And, uh, ooh, what do we have here? Oh, two little hotties, especially that one to the left. Uh, and they were in the restaurant. I almost talked to her. I was such a chicken. I should have I was so tired, but they were so cute. And uh, we ate lunch there, and, you know, hey, if you're that cute chick that happens to be like one of like 13 people that watch my video. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. So we eat some food here and this is our last stop as a complete group together. Uh, the food was great. I got the tacos, uh, everything looked, the pizza looked great, but, uh, Richard, Bob, Sammy, Joey, AK. What a great, Great trip, brothers. I look forward to riding with you again. Got a trip next week. Uh, me, Bob, and Richard will be in the group. But, um, oh, just wonderful. Uh, just such a great group of guys. So, Joey and I decide uh, we're going to take off together. And we check the tire, tire pressure. It turns out that I still have air leaking out. So, we pull over to the gas station up here. And Joey is on a mission. I tell you what, people. I'm not kidding. In about five minutes, he found another hole and fix the hole in five minutes. It was pretty amazing to see, to say the least. And I really appreciate that, Joey. Now, I better be able to patch a tire on my own because <laughs> it's going to be pretty sad if I don't. 
But I do carry a tire patch kit, which I didn't before, and here I am goofing around here. What am I? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry, that's kind of messed up, right? You're helping me fix a tire, but I'm just getting around with you. And thank you, Joey. I really appreciate that, man. I love riding with you, brother. Really do. And hope we get to ride again soon. And uh, congratulations on being married again. So Joey and I take off from the gas station, and we just, we bomb it. I mean, we're just passing left and right. We're tired. We're alert. But uh, it's hot. We want to get back. Passing cars left and right. We pull into this gas station here in Farmington. And look at who we see here. Yeah, it's Sammy and AK. <laughs> and uh, we stay here and talk to Sammy and AK for a little bit. Yeah, see you guys later. So we say goodbye to them one last time before the trip ends. And Joey and I take off back home, and you know, we're pretty mellow on the ride home. We just take it easy here and there. And oh, what a trip this has been, to say the least. And we say goodbye to Joey here. Goodbye, Joey! <laughs> Joey and I, we have a special connection, and I love riding with Joey. Uh, I think I've said that a million times in this. I love riding with all these guys. Oh, Richard, Bob. Joey, A.K. Sammy, what a great trip, guys. They're just absolutely wonderful. I can't wait to ride with you guys again. And now I recorded an outro here, but it just, I'm so tired and maybe a little dehydrated too. I just kind of bobble around. So, uh, hey guys, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. I mean, I don't even care if you give it a thumbs up or not because you made it this far and I got to go back and watch this 47 minutes of video now and edit through it so it's a lot of time for me too but thanks for watching guys got a trip that I'm getting ready for that I need to do right now after editing this uh, going up to Mount Whitney really looking forward to it all right guys see you on the next trip